if I don't know what, what a, good, a good girl okay, is. But no, now, like, what's your end goal in life? Like, as in, in relationship wise? Because you guys, that's your thing, right? Well, what's your end goal in a relationship? Like, I when mean, you're 60 years old? Ultimately, it's for every guy to, to like decide that. I'm just no, saying, like, for you, for right me, now, what's yeah. your end goal? Like, right now, like, I'm at a point where, like, I've had my fun, I've done a lot of things, you know, like, girls, whatever. And ultimately, if I find someone that's awesome, that's worth the effort, has the value, I want to see where it goes. Now, am I going to settle down with her? Maybe. Maybe I don't know. No, but saying, what's your goal? Like, yeah. is that what something you want? Do you want, want? Like, do you you want to get married? Do you however, want to have a family? Like, you have goals, I'm still right? deciding. You don't, you, know you, don't, you don't know if you want. Yeah, because to me, the world's messed up, bro. And bringing a kid into the world, but I'm questioning that right now. But at the same time, I'm open to it. Yeah. But right now, I don't know for sure. But in life, there's an equal and opposite force, right? As yeah. much as there's bad, there's also good. Like, there's a balance out there. Yeah. And but obviously, very difficult. Like we said, it's like, look, not everyone's freaking billionaire. Not everyone's millionaire. It's like it's like whatever is harder to get. It's like you know, it's it's achievable. It's like not impossible. But, but for everybody, no. But that's the thing. Yeah, it's just I you have so. to look, look, for look. everyone. Look, and I'll tell you it why. depends how the you know, if there's a will, there's a way, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll so, tell you something. I, I completely get what you guys say, and I'm, I want to add to my sister's point. Look, I genuinely do believe we're in a messed up world. Yeah, I, and I think there's and the reason i think you guys make a lot of sense of what you say is i know there's hundreds of guys out there that have been potentially loyal to their women then somehow later on down the line got cheated on heartbroken now they're have now less they're money rebelling. now they have no options and it, it sucks you know it really does suck you know that yeah. things do happen but also i'm a firm believer in look high value men are great i think anyone watching this should add value to yourself go make money go have a great career um, but also i don't think that let's say i'm a type of person i i do very well in my life but I wouldn't let, let's say, for example, if a girl does come and mess me over, I'm not gonna, now going to force the whole world to be negative and say all women are the same. And I'm never going to be in a committed relationship because look what happens. I need to keep them on the edge of their toes because I do believe that just like my family or my mom, there are good women out there. And I don't want to constantly mess around with 100 girls to feel justified that, oh, you see, one person broke my heart and now I need to go and just show them because I'm a high value person. I'm going to scroll with them over. You're not going to get anywhere in life, in my opinion. Well, we never said that though. No, yeah. as in, but that's the thing. What's your end goal? Like, why do you not want to have a family? Because I think that's beautiful. I think having a family. Oh, we, I mean, I, I never said, I, I definitely want to have a family. I'm just not going to have one woman. Okay. And in that sense, what, what do you want then? I just want to know what do you want? I have, probably have three or four wives. Three or four wives. Okay. Yeah. But if you have three or four wives, are yeah. you still going to have like, yeah, girlfriends it, because remember you, you want a wives or you still want yeah, to have that's the, the thing. extra Are you gonna thing stick on the side to, and I honestly think that down the line I think both of you will change your opinions I genuinely think that we always <laughs> change our opinions you know say similar to obviously you guys are friends with Andrew Tate he was a, a atheist now he's a Muslim and I guarantee you 5-10 years down the line he's already kind of said he's like you know what actually I just want one good woman next to me and have a family and I think those things happen people generally realize oh shit what was I saying you know and I think yeah the world is messed up where we are Yeah, but I just I'm the type of guy that says if bad things happen to you, don't just constantly just see the whole world as bad. It happens. But if you can remain good and remain yourself during those moments, that's ultimately the highest level of yourself that you can reach. To don't be honest, let bad things affect you. We're happy you. as hell right now. And I'll, I'll tell you why. So You're for making example, money. <laughs> <laughs> that's on the table too, of course. But like, we're happy doing what we want. Yeah. Because most guys can't do that. They have to wake up every day, go to a job, job that they hate, this somebody that, that they don't want to be with. And it's like, they're sad. Yeah. Right? Because we have options. As a guy, Level up to get options. That's all we're saying here. Yeah. And make a choice for yourself. No, I completely agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, now what you were saying as far as like, you know, a woman coming in and ruining a guy's life. My thing is I teach guys, we, we teach guys how to protect themselves, right? Yeah. It's not, we're not saying that women are going to come into your life and, and ruin it. But what we are saying is that they can. They can. And since they can, you need to put yourself in a position where they can't. And where they can't is you don't get married. You don't, you know, if you do get married, you make sure there's a prenuptial agreement or you do it where the in state church. isn't involved. Right, these are all things and hazards that you have to deal with in the West that you guys might not necessarily have to deal with out here. But the divorce uh, economy in the United States is huge. You know, over fifty percent of marriages end in divorce. Men pay eighty. Uh, women initiate eighty percent of the divorces. Alimony is paid ninety percent of the time for men to women. Men lose their children ninety five percent of the cases.